Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman, a bishop in uh, Philadelphia who had uh, migrated as a priest from Bohemia and came to work in the United States and became part of this nation and was very effective in a lot of the work he did in Catholic education. Let us be thankful to God for granting us such a good example. Let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and pardon. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins. May he bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who calls the Bishop St. John Newman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, when God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us that he has given to us this, his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. This, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has nothing to do with, has to do with punishment. And so no one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm is, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Saba shall bring tribute. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Can we please stand for the gospel acclamation? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O Christ, proclaim to the Gentiles. Glory to you, O Christ, believed in throughout the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After the 5,000 had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side toward Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. 
And when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But at once he spoke with them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment, and so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. John Newman, and some 20-something years ago when I was living here in the United States going to Fordham, I had the opportunity of visiting parts of the United States, and I, I went to some friends in Philadelphia, and I was so privileged to be taken to see the um, cathedral where the body of the bishop, the deceased Bishop John Newman is. It's in the lower chapel of the cathedral. And um, put in a, in, a, in a casket, glass, and it's made into an altar, and it's for me, as, as a priest, it's one of the most profound moments of my life. I mean, as I said, this is some 20-something years ago, and it is still very powerful, very fresh in my memory. A young priest who left Bohemia, his home country, as a priest, came to the United States, continued his priestly duties, worked so hard, became bishop, and contributed, as a matter of fact, the fourth bishop of Philadelphia. And the history of the church in the United States uh, will not be complete without a mention of St. John Newman. Um, his contribution to Catholic education and education of the youth is so tremendous. And in the, in the first reading of today, we are being told that Lack of love is what will cause us to be afraid. I think that the love of God is what propelled this young man to leave his homeland and to come to this great nation and to minister and spend all his life and die in this nation. He loved his Christ, and because of his love for Christ, he loved the people of Christ. And whether they were in Bohemia or the United States, he loved them to the point that he would rededicate himself and dedicate himself so completely as to serve and serve as a priest and serve as a bishop. Christmas is that time when we think about the love of Christ because we see it practicalized. Christ who is God, God who lives in the heavens, and God who is interested in our welfare and comes to mingle with us. And so as in the gospel reading, Jesus is walking, and Jesus is on the boat, and Jesus sees the disciples terrified and afraid, Jesus tells them, do not be afraid. If you love me, you will not fear. If you love me, you will know that I love you too, and there is nothing that you should worry about. I know that we are struggling as human beings to love our God, but I know that we have the strong desire to have a good relationship with Jesus. That is why we are here this morning. And so we want to pray in this Mass for the grace to be strengthened in our journey to loving him as we love one another, to receive grace as he graced St. John Newman to become that great, great bishop 
that wonderful priest, that amazing missionary among the people of Philadelphia and the United States. Let us pray. Entrusting ourselves to the care of the Father and the intercession of Jesus, we offer these prayers. That the church may be perfected in love and in union with our triune God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord may look graciously upon the needs of all nations and peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord that all who live in fear may be upheld and strengthened by Christ's exhortation, to be not afraid, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That this community of faith may be guided in all we say and do by the commandment to love one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who have died may, through the mercy of God, rest in eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For Martin Paul Mackin and for Pascal Barbuto, for Luigi Antonio Rosmini, for Gemma Stumpo Rosmi, George Cangero, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving God, look with favor on the prayers of your people and answer them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Father, the Almighty. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ, your Son, just as you granted to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we we'll sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of our holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your world who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who have come to the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bond of unity and truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a good day.